This is University Avenue, and right now they're working on a light rail project. At this moment, construction is taking place. To be in this community right now is to really feel like a lot is happening. And I think our students are just trying to be part of that, uh, to preserve this transitional time. They're being historians. So the, the Transitions Project is essential, essentially a documentation of the changes going on along University Avenue as, as the light rail comes through. I live not even a couple blocks up the street and I take the buses through here every day, so depending on what happens, it's gonna affect me either way. They're living through one of the biggest public projects that the Twin Cities has started in a long time. And it's impacting their neighborhoods, their families, the businesses they frequent. Within the next few months, it's gonna get pretty hairy out here. There's gonna be a lot of traffic up the details. Most business owners, they say the same sort of stuff, like, you know, it's gonna be hard for people to get here. Like one time, this guy said he, he anticipates losing like 75% of his customers. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. And I was, I was shocked. It's also a good thing that the light rail is coming because it's gonna be more convenient in the future for people that's transported from Minneapolis to St. Paul. Do you hate the project or do you like the project? I'm here to see both sides of the story. We start the process by having the students brainstorm questions that they want to ask the people we're going to interview. And then we have students who have been working with the art class and a local photographer to take photos of the site. The exterior shots and take a bunch of them. your concerns about the light rail being built on University Avenue? Um, the major concern is that it's definitely going to affect business for a while. I think for the long run it's a good thing and uh, it's just going to be you know, six months of pain for a good thing afterwards. By being part of this project I think they're going to have a better understanding of the political and social issues that are uh, surrounding this, uh, the light rail. I also hope that more of them start to imagine that being media producers is an option for them. What makes this guy's story unique? Give us some suggestions. What have we got so far? Damon Johnson, owner of the Grimming House, barber for 11 years, talks about relocating because of the light rail. To preserve and the, the family trade. To preserve the family <laughs> trade? There you go. Right. To preserve... Preserving the family trade. Students transform when they have a tool like an audio recorder or a camera in their hand. Oh, yeah. oh you ready to rumble? <laughs> yeah, they get instantaneous artistic expression, and uh, I think it, it validates them in a lot of ways. It says, I've been given the opportunity to tell this story. Um, I'm going to do it my way, and uh, people are going to hear it and see it. The first piece that um, we're going to introduce today that I personally like my most is the Russian Tinos. So, what is your names and what business do you run on University Avenue? My name is Linda Alanov. I'm a part owner to the Russian Tea House on University. And my name is Nikolai Alanov. Uh, we've been here about 32 years now. Uh, we, we started as a small carryout. We had to decide what to cut. I mean, they said so many other things about their lives and about, you know. We um, kept the end in, though. What, yeah, you like the will be around. We're the Russian team. That was Russian's idea. Would you, like, would you move if it got a little bit hectic or no? No, no, we won't move. We're the Russian tea house. <laughs> <laughs> now, we always talk about community being involved in school, school being uh, involved in the community, but it's actually happening here now. And it, we're doing this project, but in the process of learning journalism, learning how to use a camera, learning how to uh, use audio equipment, learning how to edit. Uh, these kids are learning about history, learning about relationships, learning about what community really needs.